Hey, sad cats. It's Outdoor Josh again. Can you guess what I'm doing? If you guessed, I'm taking my son to skate. Congratulations, you are correct. Uh, for all of you sadsters that have access to the great outdoors, uh, we're a broad spectrum UVA, UVB sunscreen with SPF minimum 30, I think they say, and above 50. Don't buy that bullshit. Useless. And why not go to Big Five, spend $6.99 on a hat like this? It's important to take care of your skin. What else? Despite all the homoerotic slash narcissistic pondering of how cute the men are, I think it's important to point out just how to lovely the women of Sad Sad are. I guess that goes without saying, but I thought I'd say it anyway. Uh, I agree with AG. Art versus commerce, bullshit. It's a bullshit conversation. Only the rich can afford to participate in such a conversation. Bill Gates started painting. He could afford not to worry about the commerce of his art. He could protect the integrity of what it is he does. And the rest of us, uh, I, mean, I have to make a living. I have no, no apologies about that. And being an actor, and primarily a TV actor, the state of the union is such that uh, the vast majority of things that I go out for are utter garbage. Just shit. Most TV is, uh, in my opinion, just terrible. Uh, I'd rather watch the latest episode of Real, Ru Real World Road Rules Challenge uh, than almost virtually uh, any other uh, scripted drama. I find most of them stultifying. That includes all of the procedurals and uh, just most shows altogether. Um, Oh, here's part two of the whole saying no thing, the power of saying no. Michael Black, I'm happy to be the butt of your jokes. There's always a little anti-Josh button to your videos. And I delight in it. Uh, I've had a lot of success saying no. I'm not going to be, not going to be provoked by you into telling you just how much. But I will tell you one story that um, brought home to me just how important it is to say no, to trust your own instincts. Uh, I was up for a TV show, I'm going to try to read, a pilot a few years back, written by a guy named Jonathan Lisko. I wouldn't mention him by name, but he turned out to be a bit of a hockey puck, so I'm happy to do it. It was called Damages. It focuses on four young Chicago attorneys, all complex, all like us in many ways, who must resist the seductive power of their profession if they are to have truly meaningful personal lives. It sounds good, right? Shocking that the script was garbage. And I read it, didn't want to re uh, go audition for it, but I guess it was lean time, so I decided I would. Didn't really prepare for it, as I tend not to when the uh, material is awful. Uh, I thought I kind of punched the audition. I guess I was also interested in uh, reading for it a little bit because it was directed by John Emil, uh, the guy who directed the original BBC uh, show The Singing Detective, which I thought was amazing. He was really odd. He was a nutball in the room. He sat on my lap at one point, which is strange. Uh, yeah, I did the audition, just read it, went home, forgot about it. Next thing I know, they call for my quotes. This is when they call and they want to know your quotes, which is basically the, the last or the most you've worked for or tested for. You may not have even earned this money, but your quotes is where the discussion begins in this stupid, stupid process of making a test deal. And I said to my agents, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to test for this. Uh, you know, I hate it. I have no idea what I did in the room that they liked. Um, I didn't prepare for it. I, can't, I, I, can't, I don't know how to recreate it. Um, a lot of being an actor is uh, being called upon to take terrible material and lift it. That's not my specialty. I've been lucky to have some very good material. But usually when the material is bad, I think I tend to be bad. So I said, trust me on this. If they're interested, let them fucking offer me the job. I'll do it because um, I need the money, but I'm not going back in. 
and uh, oh shit, I'm running long again. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the rest of this story later too. By the way, it's not that interesting. <laughs>